Hey everybody, how we doing today? Super gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys, finally! Sun, low winds, low waves, finally! Haven't had a nice day since the 1st of January, so we're gonna try to take advantage of it. I've actually fished the last two days, which were okay days. I just couldn't catch anything, so didn't have any video footage of anything. Brutal! But today we're gonna head out to the reef because I just want to bend a rod and make up for the last couple days. Actually, I made it out to the patch reefs and it dawned on me, hey, you didn't pick up any bait. So I came all the way back in and no pilchards or uh, glass minnows. So I'm going to head back out and say, screw it and just catch my own out there. So that's the plan. That's where we're going. Got to get moving. All right, we're at our first stop. This is kind of a fallen uh, reef marker. So there's a bunch of piping and stuff that's fallen over. Then they got a temporary marker there because it's shallow. So I'm going to troll around here a little bit figure out the uh, current and then get anchored up. All right, we got something. I want to keep it away from that pipe. Uh, just dragging it away from the structure. Usually there's some pretty big uh, kudas. This one doesn't feel that big. Yeah. Oh, look at that big old yellow jack. Gonna eat it. <sighs> greedy Steve, greedy Steve. Oh, there's stuff following it. Oh, he veered off. Any other ones? That was a big yellow jack. That's good. See those guys are around. All right, let's land this guy. Not the bigger one I wanted. Be good bait though. Man, he killed my paddle tail. Stinky, stinky. At least he didn't cut me off. Don't bite. Yeah, that was a pretty meaty yellow jack that was following him. There you go, buddy. All right, let's get anchored up and chumming. All right, got something on now. All the kudas are running away from it. Ugh. Don't eat it, whatever it is. My fish. Staying down low. You don't lock me up. Structure. No. 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 Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Stay out of there. God, I can't even see what it is. Oh, it's that yellow jack. That was what was chasing my cuda. Nice. That's a beauty. On the four inch paddle tail. Ugh. Don't do that. Give up. You've been caught. Ugh. Boom. Beauty. <laughs> 
Paddle tail to the wind. Uh. He was just hanging around here looking for that easy meal. There we go. So this was on the uh, quarter ounce uh, Cobra jig head and the four inch paddle tail. Ooh, look at all these kudas everywhere. Lighten that drag in case one comes and gets it. Wow, uh, man. That thing is paying off. Beautiful yellow jack. Now these are great eating. These are the uh, sashimi one, nice light white meat. Different than the other jack, so definitely keepers if you want to eat something, but yeah, beautiful. And off he goes. Well, since we're having so much fun trolling here, I'm gonna pull this. This is my uh, Cuda lure. So it's a triple hook rig with trebles. I don't do that, so I just got one hook. I'm gonna drag it pretty quick. It's got a lot of walking action to it. And uh, yeah, see if we can pick up one of these jumbo uh, kudas. All right, so that's the action there. That's a mullet. So let's drag this by, by that uh, marker there. I just gotta keep popping the weeds off of it. All right, let's see what we can do here. All the little bait jumping around. Oh, there's a big cooter right there. That's one of the big boys. They're all over this spot. There's more of them. A lot of bait, so they're all around here. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, there we go. Is it still on? Uh, might be just a small one. Oh, maybe not. There's pipes down here, so you gotta be careful, otherwise they'll get in those rocks. No, just not a very big one. Oh, man, they run hard though. Get on this side. Ugh. Ugh. Man, they got power. <laughs> right in the mouth. I could taste the stink. Ah! Man. Here, watch out, buddy. A big old shark's gonna come over here and eat you. Not too bad. Much, golly. Much nicer, no trebles. Get that out of your eye. Probably wasn't too pleasant. There we go. Ah! Oh, yuck. All right, get out of here. I want a bigger one. Well, that worked. Man, the fish are biting. <laughs> I wanted rod bending days. Today is it. Man, I haven't started chumming yet. What do we got down here? Here's where the pipes and stuff are. You can kind of see. Hammered good there. Doesn't even know it's hooked. Staying down. Ugh. Now it's figured it out. Why are you down there? All right, cooter it again. Lighten the drag bit. 
other kudas following it. Yeah, he's not too uh, much match for the uh, Esky 20 pound, which is a heavy rod. But the good old single lure there. See ya! All right, this thing hammered it. Oh man, it hammered it hard. Feeling like dead weight again. Stay on, buddy. Ugh. Ooh, might be a little better this time. Oh. I just gotta make sure he stays away from the pipes. These guys know all the structure around, so they know how to hide. Ah, this is better. Oh no, you're not getting in that structure. You're not getting in the structure. Oh, that's a much better one. Nice! That's what we're looking for. Right in the corner of the mouth. Alright. Get you without getting smashed here. The hook. Bam! Oh, you're gonna stink up everything. Ah, dang it, that thing is coming. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what toad? Woo! <laughs> Alright, gotta go. Eat me! Eat it! Eat it! Ah! Got the kudas! So here's a little better view of the nice little, I don't know, it's like a Rapala or something. I just found it in the mangroves. But yeah, that's the rig there. Just a single hook, so I don't have to worry about getting stuck and easier to uh, release the fish. Uh, it sits kind of up top and just wobbles side to side, so I could throw this even on the flats. This is what I throw instead of a tube, although I should do more tubes, but uh, definitely for stuff like this, you can cast these a mile. You can rip them really fast. They got great action. They're erratic. It's got look like a mullet, so this is perfect. Okay, we're finally all set up. Okay, it took me three anchor drops to finally get it positioned right because the, the wind is going one way, but the current is going another way. And the current is stronger than the wind, so it's kind of affecting things. I needed the chum to go in the right direction, so now it's going... Oh, there's that big yellow jack. Whoa, look how big he is. It's going right towards that uh, channel marker that I want. But I didn't want to get too close because there's a lot of riprap there, and then I wouldn't be able to pull him out. And then if you see along here, this is all white sandy area below me here. So if I do any bottom fishing, I could drop baits on this sand and then they can't get back to the structure or at least I could try to stop them before they get back to the structure. I'm not concerned about getting a bait all the way right by where they're at because the chum is going to pull those fish away from the structure and out. So uh, we're going to give this about 10 minutes to start filling up. Look at those yellow jacks. Oh baby. We're going to be in for some rod bending action. <laughs> All right, while I'm waiting for the chum to start flowing, although there's a bunch of stuff already lining up. I think there's some chubs, those are the worst, but uh, I've got the uh, Cobra jig head already rigged on this one for uh, drifting baits back. But in the meantime, I've got my uh, little two and five eighths paddle tail. And since this has prongs on it, it could work for uh, drifting baits back, chunk baits, or it could also work with uh, soft plastics. So I'm just gonna, throw this around. I see uh, fish uh, chasing bait already, so 
that on there. There we go, nice little clean bait there. And then I'll be able to match the hatch. All right, there we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get him up. All right, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, what we got? Looks like a mutton. Nice. Uh, uh, no. No. You're done, buddy. You're done. Come on. Come on. Come on. How not to land a fish. Open up, open up. All right, you can keep it. Yeah! <laughs> nice mutton. He gets to keep the cobra jig head, but beauty. I know you're tired. There we go. Bam! And that's the basic rig I'm using there for uh, the bottom side fishing of it. Um, I could easily use a knocker rig. That's what I would generally use, but uh, we're only maybe 15 foot, maybe 20, not tons of current. So I'm able to get that uh, that bait down without a lot of weight. So I just have the uh, quarter ounce Cobra jig head and that works fine to get that pinned on the bottom. Um, deeper water, more current than I'd use the half ounce or the three quarter ounce, or like I said, go to a knocker rig. All I'm wanting you to do is get this bait past the chubs, kind of farther back and then drop it on the seafloor and just sit there. And those muttons, groupers, mangroves will come around and find it. So pretty easy. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, come on up. Come on up. Uh, uh, don't be a shark. Don't be a shark. Uh, look at that bend, and this is not the uh, this is not the ten pound rod. Uh, Oh, it's kicking like a nurse shark. Oh, no. Don't be a nurse shark. Get out of anchor line. Break off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
I got them up. <laughs> All right, so that is the importance of the two X strong mustads. That's basically what I caught that big old nerd shark on. I think it's probably 150 plus pounds. I'm dragging it up from the bottom, but that's because the, the hooks can handle it. So this is exactly the quarter ounce. All the Cobra jig heads, the, the uh, quarter, half ounce, three quarter, all use the uh, 2X strong hooks, just in larger sizes. But uh, now I'm switching over to do a, a knocker rig. Give that a shot. Basically a five aught circle hook. I've got a little bead because these uh, egg sinkers I have have large openings on them, so I don't want it to get stuck. And I want it that free splay so that uh, muttons or groupers can't feel it. They'll pick it up, run with it, and then that's give them a chance to get that circle hook to work. So that's the next rig. Um, I'm stepping up a class to my uh, Esky 1520 with the uh, 50 Cabo uh, just for a little bit uh, more oomph to get them up and out of there. So let's throw this out. All right, I think something picked this up. We'll just test it out, see if there's anything on the end of the line there. Oh, no, dropped it. Oh, there we go. There we go. It was on there. This wasn't my nurse shark, that's good. Mangrove? No, another mutton. Smaller mutton. Still a good mutton though. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Some bottom fishies. Nice, pretty. There it goes. They're setting up back there, so I just need to get some with size. Ah, oh, dang it. No, oh, it's picking it up. There we go. This must be little yellow tails or something. Ah, a little remora. Man, another species though. A little sucker head. Yeah, beat yourself to death. I'm fine with that. Doesn't bother me at all. Whenever you're ready. Done? that he's stuck to the side of my kayak <laughs> he's got suction cups Ugh. let's see if we can get him to stick there he goes suction cup <laughs> suction that's his superpower right there. I can stick to the side of a kayak. Let go. There it goes. All right, I think it's running with it. It's tension. There's tension. Oh, get him out of there. Oh, it got me rocked up. No, oh, he's off. He's out. Get out of there. Oh, dang! 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 All right, they locked me up again, so we're going to the uh, 20 pound Esky heavy rod, Cabo 60. So I got 40 pound uh, mono leader. I'm gonna lock down this drag here. No more games. All right, if it's messing with this, taking it. Get him out before it gets in. Oh, 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 there we go. 
Oh no, is this another shark? Dang, another shark I met. Yeah, jerky head. God. Those stupid nurse sharks must be lined up back there. No. Oh no. Whoa. I was pulled me out. Is that big enough for you? <laughs> I'd love to get my sinker back. I wanna break this damn rod. All right, let's break it the old fashioned way. Oh, Mother Mary. I don't want any more. Oh, fun fishing is over. Oh, ah, I'm done. I don't want to fish anymore. These stupid sharks. I can't even break them off. I don't want to do this. My back hurts. Arms are tired. Uh, wasting record time. Forget this. GoPro, stop recording. All right, this is not a nurse shark. Grunt! Hey, hey, a new species. Wow. I'm scoring points today. Alrighty, I think I'm going to call it. Those nurse sharks wore me out. <laughs> but we caught so much stuff. I don't even know how many varieties. I think like eight, nine different varieties of fish. So. Definitely bent the rod. I'm satisfied after two brutal days of catching one jack, a mullet, and a pilchard on one day. That was it. That was the whole day of working. And then the next day, fishing the whole time and catching one little jack on a paddle tail and nothing else. So today made up for it, so I'm happy. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. I'm going to do a little bit of trolling since we got some sunlight. If I get anything interesting, I'll let you know. So anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.